What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I want to talk about Battlefield 2042. Kind of what you guys think about it is what I'm really curious to see down in the comment section. I'm still kind of skeptical about it in ways, and I've talked about this before in a video that I made about a month ago. I have been a long-time Battlefield fan. If you guys have been around the channel for a long time, you know I've played every single Battlefield title every, uh, ever made. And I, I was really excited to see that they were going to do a Battlefield set in modern time. Now, as you can see here in the background, we're having some of the new classes that are coming out. This is one thing that was kind of uh, not taken well, I think, by the community was instead of having this the old classes we used to have, they're going to have specialists now. Kind of handled the same way but not exactly the same. They're going to have 10 of these at launch, 14 within the first year. So that shows you they're going to be adding content in, which I think is a good idea. Still doing the free content, no paid DLC, having a battle pass where there's paid tiers and free tiers. I think all that's great. I think being modern, I think going away from the World War One, World War Two thing was a good idea. Uh, a lot of people were kind of tired of that. A lot of people wanted the Battlefield 3, the Battlefield 4, the bad company kind of feel back into Battlefield in general. And I think they're going to probably be able to do that with a modern style game. Even though they may have some, uh, you know, drones and robot dogs and things like that, I still think people are really going to enjoy that part of the game. Uh, another thing I think people are really going to enjoy is the BF Portal mode. A lot of people thought there was going to be a Battle Royale added in. Uh, we know there's going to be no single player. Uh, so people thought there's going to be a Battle Royale mode. There may be something like that down the road. EA and DICE have really said they're not planning on doing that, but instead they announced the portal mode, which is going to take Battlefield 1942, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, and Battlefield 20, uh, 2042, the weapons, gadgets, vehicles, maps, soldiers, from those, put them in a large sandbox and let you design the game how you want. Now, of course, you're still going to have your separate modes like Conquest and things. This is just going to be a different game mode within all of that. Uh, BF Portal Mode is going to be really good for the community, really good for content creators. Examples they gave was you could have a large force of World War II soldiers uh, and then a smaller force of maybe just, you know, uh, drones and robot dogs and, and things like that. So you'd have old tech versus just soldiers. Or you could have, uh, you know, all the characters have defibrillators and knives. And you could make your, make your game however you want. Like I said, this is going to be great for the community, great for content creators. So you can go in and make your own modes or they will have uh, community made modes that you'll be able to hop in and just play. So this is something that I think is very neat. Kind of a takeaway from what everyone expects now to have Battle Royale in every single game. It might have been a smart move on EA and DICE's uh, kind of part to not have, you know, Battle Royale all the time. You know, every game has that. I think people may be looking for something different and I think the portal mode may be one of those things. Now, of course, when it comes to how this game will be played on old gen versus new gen, old gen will be PS4 and Xbox One. Sadly, I'm still on PS4 because I've not been able to find a PS5. Almost looking for uh, looking for over a year now since it's been announced. And I can't find one for a normal price, <laughs> sadly. But when it comes to how this is going to be split, old gen, PS4, Xbox One will still be playing together 64 players. New gen will be playing together PS4. I mean, excuse me, your PS5, your Xbox Series S and X and PC will be in lobbies together. Old gen lobbies will be 64 players. New gen lobbies will be 128. Now, the one concern I have, if you guys played Battlefield years ago, take Battlefield 3, for example, I think it was the last one that had it in it, uh, was that we only had, I think it was 24 players at the time. And the maps then were designed for 64 players on, on PC. And they felt way too big. I'm kind of curious if we're playing on old gen, these maps are going to be designed for 128 players are the maps going to feel like they're way too large for the player count for old gen and i know there's a lot of players that are still out there on old gen they cannot get their hands on a new gen console or may not just want them yet um, i'm also kind of curious about the bots in game now what i'm meaning by this is if you do not know it's going to be like titanfall if the game is not full to hurry it up and speed it up to get everyone in the lobby there will be a bots added in uh, i don't think this is going to be a big problem to begin with on you know for the 128 player servers because the game's going to draw a lot of people to it right off the bat. I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to work down the road and if the community really likes that idea or, they, or would they rather just wait for, you know, all the players, you know, real players to, uh, to fill in the game instead of using AI. And like, kind of like I said, same concept as Titanfall. I'm not sure how the community is going to feel about that if it becomes an issue down the road. Also, of course, I know a lot of people are concerned about crossplay being on whether you're Old gen is not really going to be a big deal because you're only playing with Xbox and PS4, but new gen, of course, is going to have all the new gen consoles and PC in there. I know a lot of people are worried about, you know, hacking and that kind of stuff. I'll have to see kind of how, we'll have to wait and see how DICE handles that. Overall, I think a lot of people are really excited about it. Like I said, it's a game that's set 21 years in the future, so it's a, not a futuristic battlefield, but at least a modern game. I know a lot of people are really tired of the 
World War One and World War Two battlefield games and didn't really enjoy them. And I think there's things about the game that look interesting. One thing I'm not a fan of, of course, as you see in the background here, is the tornado. Instead of having Levolution now, they're going to have dynamic weather events, which I still think is kind of cheesy, just in my personal opinion. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work. I'm not sure if I really like it. But overall, I, I do like some parts of the game, and I'm really skeptical about some things as well. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys. Do you like the way that Battlefield 2042 is shaping up? Of course, we'll get to play the beta later in uh, this summer. Of course, the game will release in late October. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you'd like to hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.